In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. And they crucified him, and it divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each would take. The God of all creation, the one whom angels worship, the Lord of the universe. Yet, look at him now, stark naked, humiliated before a mocking crowd. Jesus has lost everything. His friends have run away. His possessions have been taken from him. His clothes have been shared out among the soldiers. He literally has nothing. And in the eyes of those who are crucifying him, he is nothing. In this moment of nakedness, Jesus symbolizes the whole human condition. None of us has anything. We enter the world naked and we leave it naked. Our proud achievements, our wealth, our learning, our accumulated power are nothing. But in this moment, as God shares in our nothingness, he makes our nothingness into something. He is God. He is everything. So as he shares the human condition, that condition is charged with the glory of the divine life. Once, at a Eucharist for young people, the priest made a cross of body glitter on the forehead of every teenager and said the words, remember you are dust, destined for glory. That describes exactly what Jesus is doing in this terrible hour. He has come down to share the nothingness of our lives in order to scoop us up to the presence of God in whose eyes we are everything. Through this act of self-annihilation, God has raised up human life from pointlessness to glory. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you bled in pain as the nails were driven into your flesh. 
transform through the mystery of your love, the pain of those who suffer. To you, Jesus, our crucified Lord, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us.
Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen.